on August 3rd, 2021, Nepali cricketer Paris Kharka announced his retirement from international cricket. For Nepal cricket fans and for cricket fans that follow the sport beyond the handful of international teams that call themselves full member nations, this was a huge deal, the end of an era. It was a very shocking news to all of us. Uh, I was quite speechless and you know thought about it so long. And you know, I also became quite emotional because uh, I have a lot of emotions attached with the Paras because uh, he is such a legendary figure to uh, Nepal cricket, as you we all know. And you know, thinking all about those beautiful memories the great man has created. Paras was a giant of the game, who has been representing Nepal since 2002 when he was part of the under-15 team. For the better part of his career, he was his team's leading batsman and key bowler. Across formats, he made more than 4,000 runs and took 72 wickets. He is the greatest cricketer that Nepal has ever produced, uh, the longest serving uh, cricket captain in associate cricket. And, uh, you know, uh, talking about Nepal cricket, he has been the greatest match winner for Nepal, uh, who have always been, you know, uh, leading from the front. Mentioning some few moments or, you know, few highlights. Uh, it has to be the uh, century against the UAE. It was in 2018. Uh, it was the maiden ODI century for any cricketers in Nepal. And uh, apart from that century, uh, his century against Singapore in 2019, uh, when he became the first cricketer in Nepal to score a century in both ODI and uh, T20 International. There you go, big one! Century for Paras Katka. Up comes the bat from the captain of Nepal. And boy, oh boy, has he sent a statement to Singapore. We knew it the second he stepped onto the field today. There was an intent. There was... And apart from those uh, innings, I must say the uh, first ODI win for Nepal, it was in uh, Netherlands, if you remember. Uh, the last over uh, where he defended six crucial runs. Uh, we still had, you know, left arm medium pacer Lali Singh Vandari. Uh, remaining, he still had one over left, but uh, he stepped up taking all those responsibilities because it was a very important uh, uh, match. Beautiful presence of mind and that, you know, uh, run out. If you remember that run out, you know, that has to be one of the finest and, uh, you know, crucial moment. Uh, there are so many glorious moments and, you know, beautiful highlights. But uh, if I had to mention some, this has to my favorite among all. However, his contribution to Nepal cricket goes way beyond what he did on the field. Paras, who always led Nepal from the front, you know, cricket slowly started becoming more popular in the country. Uh, his growth and the commercial uh, success, you know, commercial growth or success of Nepal cricket went hand in hand. He tried, he, you know, uh, he attracted more the uh, commercial, the private sectors. So they slowly started investing in Nepal cricket with his individual and team performances. Despite his uh, retirement, he still is one of the most marketable athletes or, you know, uh, celebrities here in Nepal. You know, people slowly started watching cricket for Paris and he became the ambassador for the uh, gentleman's game. And apart from those, you know, to be exact, he does have an impact on socioeconomic aspects of the country where he has been, you know, looked after uh, as a cricketing icon, sports icon. And he has been involved in so many, you know, social activities that he can inspire the generations. And uh, at a time when Nepal was, you know, a divided, uh, uh, divided into fractions due to various political turmoils. He became that one man uh, who could unite the entire country, you know, give them a reason to be very happy uh, through cricket. As big a deal as Paris's retirement was for Nepal cricket fans and some true lovers of international cricket, it did not create a lot of chatter among fans and commentators and former players from the 10-12 countries that are categorized as full members of the International Cricket Council. The way cricket is organized, this little group of 10 plays mostly with each other and constitutes most of the top level international cricket. The rest of the cricketing world, which is 94 countries, are categorized as associate members of the International Cricket Council. They have to compete with each other for the precious few spots at international tournaments like the World Cups and the newly formed ODI League. Besides that, they are mostly left to play with each other in a B division of sorts of international cricket. Such inward thinking has failed great ambassadors of the game like Paris Kharka, who work very hard to grow the sport in their countries. 
In fact, one of the key reasons Paris retired now at age 33 was so he could focus more on growing the game in Nepal by getting into cricket administration. It was after his uh, retirement. So what he told or, you know, what he addressed to the uh, media, I was present in the media conference of Paris. So what he addressed was, it was just his passion had ended, but the real career of Paris, it has just started, uh, you know, now off the field. He has always been advocating for the good governance of the administration and proper cricketing strict, uh, you know, proper cricketing structure that we need to excel. Uh, you know, Nepal has been doing very good on the field, but uh, apart, you know, uh, of the field, uh, we have not been able to, you know, materialize in so many things uh, regarding the administration. I, I really uh, admire and respect his uh, decision, you know, uh, retiring at a very, you know, peak of his form. Uh, he still, uh, as I said earlier, he still has had uh, two to four years, glorious years remaining. But uh, after all, you know, uh, he gains more respect from, you know, his decision. And I really admire and accept his decision. If we talk about Paris, it's not only the, I know, it's not only about his country or the associates. Uh, his contributions is for cricket, uh, especially uh, international cricket, right? So uh, we should be clear that, you know, he played for Nepal. He represented the associates, but his contribution, uh, it was for this uh, gentleman's team. So, uh, yes, uh, his contribution has to be looked that way, I guess. I have always been advocating for the emerging cricket nations. Uh, I have been writing for emerging cricket because of, you know, uh, we, I really uh, feel that, you know, we need to uh, grow the game. Uh, cricket needs to be a global game rather than, you know, playing for just, you know, uh, those uh, big uh, 10 or to be in fact, to be exact, uh, the big three.